Scientists say we might be living in a computer simulation. Hey guys, what is going on? I'm Charlotte and you're watching IO. So I want you guys to imagine for a second that your reality is not reality at all. That the matrix is actually real and your real self is actually a brain inside a jar somewhere and everything you're experiencing right now is a simulation. Freaky, isn't it? But how would you be able to prove it is or isn't true? So according to philosophy lecturer Laura D'Olimpio, humans could actually be the subject of a science experiment. And the nerve endings of your brain are connected to a supercomputer that feeds you all the sensations of everyday life. Okay, so I know this sounds crazy as hell and you guys are all watching this being like, bah, this like, this is clickbait, I owe you're liars, blah, blah, blah. But hear me out for a second. This isn't actually a new idea. A philosopher named Hilary Putnam actually proposed this brain in the jar theory in his 1981 book called Reason, Truth, and History. Not only that, but Putnam's theory is actually based on an idea from 1641 by a French philosopher named Rene Descartes. Basically, Descartes said that you have to doubt everything, including your own existence. He said if you would be a real seeker after truth, it is necessary that at least once in your life you doubt, as far as possible, all things. How crazy would that be though? That all your problems aren't even real problems because your brain is actually in a friggin jar? Films like Inception and The Matrix could actually be accurate depictions of our reality. Your experiences are shaped by your perceptions, and perception is easily changed. According to a famous theory in quantum mechanics, the universe doesn't actually exist if we stop looking at it. That means that the boundary between reality and our own consciousness is actually blurred. A particle's past behavior changes based on what we see. When physicists actually examine light particles, the result of an experiment depends on how they set up their experiment. So yeah, good news is we do exist, but it might not be in the way that we think. How do you know that we're not actually brains in a giant warehouse controlled by an evil genius? If it's not true, then prove it. You can't, right? So how do you know it's not true? Moral of the story, doubt everything. And the next time you're upset about something, take a second and realize that perhaps our problems are not actually problems at all, but constructed based on our perception of a situation. This has been Quantum Mechanics 101 with your host Charlotte Dobre. That's all for now guys, thanks for tuning into IO. Don't forget to check out our other channel IO Trends for everything in entertainment. You should also check out IO on social media, we're on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. I'm also on Instagram at Charlie Chaplin, would love a follow or two. And click one of these two videos over here if you want to keep watching IO.